Good evening. It's a story that's already made national headlines. One Valley woman is expressing her anger after a traumatic experience at an Oklahoma airport. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Sasha Loftus. She says two TSA agents took her into a room for a strip search and violated her constitutional rights. I sat down with her today, and she says she's ready to fight back. Rhonda Mengert searches for the right words to express her agony. I was just stunned. Stunned when they said that I had to do that. Any sense of security shattered after an experience she'll never forget. You start going back through the panic and the anxiety and the emotion. The Las Vegas woman was heading home after a Mother's Day visit with her family in Oklahoma last month. It's surreal. I mean, I'm talking to you about it, and the words are out of my mouth, but it's still hard to believe that that actually really happened. That's when the absolute worst happened at Tulsa International Airport. That's when they said, ma'am, we need you to take your shorts and your underwear down and sh show the item for inspection. She tells us two TSA agents took her into a room and made her expose herself for a search. I was accosted. I had no personal ability to protect myself against them. Mengert says they had no valid reason to do this and calls it a violation of her Fourth Amendment rights. So she's fighting back with a lawsuit. It's gone too far. It's overreach. It's too much. A TSA spokesperson provided the following statement related to Mengert's claim. It reads in part, quote, Due to pending litigation, we cannot comment on the specifics of this case. TSA does not conduct strip searches and is committed to ensuring the safety of travelers. Regardless, Mengert is now pushing for a balance between safety and respect. How dare you humiliate me that way? How dare you? and says she won't stop these efforts until crucial changes are made. I was a victim, but I don't have to state one. Menger tells me she and her attorney don't have a specific number set for those damages. They do plan to let a jury decide on that. Her main concern, to make sure this never happens to anyone else ever again. We'll have a detailed look at her claim on our website. That's LasVegasNow.com.